Hey guys, it's Jay. So I have been gone for a minute. Now I'm back with the jump off with these let's have a chat video. Like I said, I ain't done with it and God knows how long. But I have a lot to talk about. So get your little snack. Relax. Um, if this gets too long, then I'll just break it up in two parts because there's like a lot of shit that's been going on the past like week or two. So I'm gonna try to get through these. As quick as I can. Like I said, if it gets too long, I'll just put it in two parts. So, I'm going to get through the stash here first. Uh, first, we have, it was announced that Kim Rubin has been diagnosed with a, I guess you could say like a nasal uh, cancer. So, like, oh yeah, so around that area. And um, there, his company had, you know, released a statement announcing, you know, that he has, uh, kind of, he has been saying that he's been, you know, had feelings that something wasn't right with his body and then, you know, guess went to get everything checked up and then found out that he unfortunately has um cancer. So right now I think he was actually in the middle of like filming a film but he has put all of his like filming and stuff on hold to go through radiation and take the necessary precautions. Um, and from what they also said that they caught it early, thank the Lord. So hopefully after like, you know, going through the process, he can, you know, get back to acting. And honestly, from, from experience dealing with my mom having cancer, I know what that is. And it's really sad because he's only like 28, like we're the same age. Like I'm only older than him by like a month or two. So it's really sad that he's so young having you know this type of you know having to get cancer and stuff like that but um but yeah so I mean he's going to go through radiation and being the fact that they caught it early I don't think like the process will be like like difficult because I guess I guess it honestly really depends on the person because my, when my mother was sick she had to go through chemo and radiation but luckily the process wasn't difficult for her because sometimes when you get cancer, like I said, depending on the person, it can be really grueling and really difficult and really hard for the person just having to go, you know, go through radiation and chemo and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, from experience, I know what he has to go through, being the fact I witnessed it with my mom. But yeah, I wish him nothing but the best in a speedy recovery and stuff like that um so yeah, that's that and next is sister so everyone has been talking about sisters this band mid and you know how everyone has just been really you know really bummed and really sad about the disbandment and um they're supposed to be releasing their final song on the 30th i'm sorry the 31st which is on wednesday and um they're actually um unlike unlike you know Wonder Girls in 21 um they're actually having a promotional cycle so for one week they're going to promote their song Lonely and that's their last promotional cycle as Sistar. Um I've noticed that it's like a trend now where like groups that disband they release one last song. I mean we don't know 21 did it, Wonder Girls did it, Tiara is about to drop their last album and stuff like that so they're going to promote for one week and then after that it's it's over um so yeah i'm definitely going to be looking out for that um and now on to the good news okay so for my fellow vips it just been announced that gd has filmed the music video for his new single and i already knew when they had announced that he was going on tour I already knew that he was going to release new music I already knew it I like I said I I know how these things go you know what I'm saying so I already knew that G was going to drop a new song because they had talked about GD releasing a song like earlier in the year so GD had already filmed the video for his new single just in time for his new tour um they have not revealed any details on like the concept or anything like that but you already know i'm fucking excited for it unfortunately i'm not going on to i'm not going to see him on the tour but i know that Keisha is and i'm hella jealous but it's okay but yeah i'm definitely excited for gd's comeback you know i so said gd had released a song 
since, you know, Cody Tower was just 13. So it's been a couple of years, so I'm definitely excited for that. Um, and next we have in CT 127. Um, I call it 127. I know people say 127, but whatever. Um, it had also been rumored that NCT 127 is having a comeback soon, but according to SM, yes, they're preparing for a comeback, but they don't have a set date yet because there have been rumors that they were supposed to come back like early June, but SM hasn't really set a date yet. Um, I'm kind of salty because I'm like, okay, where's NCT U at? Because last time I checked, I thought NCTU was like the main subunit. And I'm like, okay, so like NCT doesn't have like two comebacks. NCT Dream had like two comebacks. I'm like, so where's NCTU? Like, what's up with that? But, you know, whatever. But I'm still checking it out because, you know, I really do like NCT 127. And more SM news. Um, Hyoyeon is releasing a single on the 1st. So I'm so excited because, you know, that's my bias and girls' generation. And um, the song's called Wannabe. And she's already released some teaser pictures for the single. So I'm excited for that. And I'm also, I think there's also rumored that Yuna is supposed to drop a single as well. So I'm guessing, like, girls' generation is just, like, kind of just dropping stuff before their, um their full group comeback because we already know um there has been has been said that SM had announced that you know Super Junior, TVXQ, EXO and Shiny and Girls Innovation are supposed to release stuff like the later half in the second half of the year. So I'm definitely excited for that. And I know everyone has been anticipating Girls Generation's 10th anniversary. Um I'm hoping it's good because honestly I felt like with Super Junior, they could have done a little better with the 10-year anniversary. And I know that also, at that time, Shiwon and Donghae and Eunyuk were enlisting to the military. But I just felt like they could have done a little better. You know what I'm saying? It's their 10-year anniversary. And I know that they had also announced that they were having like their own like company and stuff like that. But still, I was just like, I was just kind of expecting something a little, you know, more. Like when you think of someone being, you know, someone being in a group for 10 years, for me, I kind of expect some some real extra shit because it's 10 years. Because you already know groups don't even last two hot seconds before they either disband or members leave and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So for a group to last 10 years, especially a group like Super Junior, because, I mean, they, they, they've gone through some shit these past 10 years. So I kind of was hoping, like, they kind of had something, like, extravagant. And, um, I mean, even for, like, when TVXQ, when they had enlisted... I ain't gonna lie, I was a little salty about it because, like, they literally just, like, dropped the album the same day they had enlisted. Like, we didn't get, like, no last performance or, like, kind of like a last promotion cycle. At least with Super Junior, they, you know, they didn't promote Magic, but they promoted Devil or whatever. And I was like, um, okay. But I'm hoping for Girls' Generation, they give them a bomb-ass album Please let it be album. Not no mini album. No, they need like a full album because it's 10 years and it's girl's generation. So, you know, I want something like, I want to be lit. So, so yeah. So, uh, next we have Tan and his group, South Club, had released um, their first single, uh, Hug Me. I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm very excited to check out his band and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's definitely something to check out. And in Bitch Where You Been News, Boyfriend is coming back after two fucking years. And it's just so convenient that Boyfriend is having a comeback now that Sister is chucking the deuces to Starship. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, so like I said, so um, I think Boyfriend's comeback is supposed to be sometime early June. So, so all you... Boyfriend fans, I hope y'all excited. Cause like I said, they've been going for like two years. Cause I was wondering, like, um, what's up? like I honestly was like, what the hell's going on with boyfriend? Like, what's up with that? But yeah, and then continuing on with Starship news, 
Cosmic Girls is having their comeback soon and they're actually releasing their first full length album. So all you Cosmic Girls fans, uh, get ready. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there's going to be, prom they might be promoting at the same time as Sister. I'm not 100% sure. But I know that the, co the comeback is coming like soon. And uh, more comeback news. Uh, just like, what, Monday? Is it like Monday? Yeah, I'll say about like Monday. 17 and Icon had came back the same day. I was excited because... Honestly, y'all know, like, I'm, like, iffy with Seventeen. Like, I like the members more than the music. Like, I've listened to all their albums, and it just hasn't really, like, it's, like, a hit or a miss for me. Like, I love the title tracks, but, like, the B-sides, I was like, eh. But actually listening to this new album, I really like it. So, I'm like, oh. So, I know Alex is, like, really happy, but I really did enjoy this album. Like, their title track this song, it, I already knew when I heard the album medley, I already knew I was going to love this song from the second I heard those few seconds of that song. So I'm happy about that. And I know they just started promotions for that as well. Um, I just call, I call like one performance for a show champion. So I know they did some for like Inky Gaio and stuff like that. So I'm going to check that out. And Icon, child, we've been waiting for Icon for God knows how long, because you already know why you done shit their asses over to fucking Japan, like, literally all of 2016, they was in Japan, and now they finally came back in Korea, now here's the bullshit, like, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one that feel this way, but I ain't feeling these new stage names, my thing is, is like, they've had these names since when? Like, year, like, what, three years plus? Like, since when? Like, they've never had any stage. They didn't, the only one that had stage names was Bobby and B.I. Everyone else had a regular name. So, well, obviously, you know, Channel, he came in later. But, you know, you get what I mean. Like, the fact that all of a sudden we changing names, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Hold up now. So, if you have not known, but yet, yes, some of the members of Icon... So now basically all of Icon has stage names now. So um, Jinwon, he goes by J. Don't know why. Um, Yoo Young, he is now Song. Dong Hyuk, he is now DK. Okay. Chan Woo, he is now Chan. And yeah, so Jun Wei, he's always been Jun since they like debuted. I was like, okay, like, first he went by Junwei, then he's like, Junho. I was like, which is it? I still call him Junwei because, damn it, that's just what I knew of him before. So, I still call him that. I'm not feeling these stage names. I'm going to keep it all the way G with y'all. I'm not feeling these fucking stage names. And I know a, a lot of people ain't feeling them either. Especially, like, people that have been rocking with uh, fucking icons since, like, day one. So, it's like, these stage names came out of nowhere. And I'm like, I'm not here for it, so... I don't know about y'all, but I'm still still call them by the government name because that's that's just it. And continuing on with Icon, um, yeah, she ain't looking too hot for Icon right now because, um, I don't even think like the neither B Day or Bling Bling is on the top fifty on the charts, and which is I've never seen it come from YG usually. If someone releases something from YG, it's usually either the top 10 or number one. Like, I I know I'm not fucking crazy. Like, every time something comes from YG, it always is at least in the top 10. You know, fuck, I'm going to give it at least top 20. At least, at least top 20. So the fact that Icon's singles ain't really doing that hot on the charts, it goes to show you that YG sending them off to Japan was not a good look. I mean, it was a good look for them to be in Japan because they're, like, broadening their audience, yes. But I feel like they, YG sending them to um, Japan was a little too soon. The same thing with Blackpink. Because you do not know, Blackpink is about to release their first mini album in Japan. And it's basically all the songs that they've released in Korea so far. It's just going to be in Japanese. And, again, I'm like, 
why the fuck are we having them in Japan? At least, you know what I'm saying? When it came to, like, 21 and Big Bang, they had already, like, established themselves in Korea before they went to Japan. I mean, like, 21 and go to Japan to, like, 2010? 2011? You have to be, like, 2010, because this is when they dropped the first pulling album, so at least, like, 2010, right? Um, 2010, 2011. Yeah, I mean, I say like 2010, 2011. Big Bang, they didn't go to the to Japan until like 2009. So I just trying to figure out why they all of a sudden you debut Icon and Blackpink, and all of a sudden they come out, and also you just ship them off to Japan. I'm like, <sighs> okay. I mean, I I don't agree with that at all, and I and honestly. Being a fact that he did that is showing in, you know, how how not well that these songs are doing on the charts. Now, honestly, I like both songs. I know some people are, like, iffy with it. And I can kind of see with some people's points where they say that they feel like they're giving, like, icon, like, Big Bang's leftovers. And, you know, why she's trying so hard to make them the next Big Bang, this and the third. I mean, that's just other people's opinions. Like I said, I enjoy Icon's music. I do. There hasn't really, there hasn't been a song like I don't like from Icon. Um, even though I favor Winner more, but I do. I absolutely love Icon, and I love the songs. Like Bling Bling, I've been bumping that shit since it came out. But yeah, it's just really weird to me that they're not doing that hot on the charts. And I mean. I don't know what's going to happen when they do, like, promotions because they got to go up against Twice and Twice and already won three music shows already. And y'all already know when Twice is promoting, it's really hard to fucking beat Twice. And I think IU is still promoting as well, I think. And the fact that, like, Sister is about, you know, about to do their last promotion. So, you know... Sister's gonna wanna try and get at least a couple more music show win before they like bounce out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like I'm not sure how this is gonna work out for Icon. But yeah, it's definitely weird the fact that they haven't really been doing all that hot on the charts and stuff. But yeah. Um and I guess the last for like comeback news, Loco had released his new album Bleached and he done released like a shit ton of videos and I think I've watched just about all of them and I really like what I hear so far like it's definitely different from Locomotive totally different album like definitely chill laid back vibes from the songs I've heard and you know he's got Dean on there he's got Hoodie he's got Cha Cha um you know, he's got a couple other people, CK, like, he got a couple other people on the album. I'm going to check out the album because, you know, I'm an AMG stan, so, duh. And, you know, not, and especially the fact that, like, people have been really trying to, like, check for Loco now because, like, you know, Loco done lost a lot of weight. And, you know, he got his ab game on fleek. I'm like, oh, shit. But, like, you know, people was like, oh, my God, Loco, and da 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 Like, everybody's losing their shit now. And, of course, you know, people that have been fans of Loco... For years now, people going like, oh, let me try and like slide your ass over here now. I'm just like, I mean, I, I, I be like, I've been a fan of Loco for years now, and I was completely fine with him when he was, you know, a little cute, little, little squishy Loco, you know. But I mean, the fact that you know he stopped drinking, and you know he's taking care of himself now, that's definitely good. And, you know, he's looking real good. Like, his, his whole, like, swag is on... I know I just said the word swag. Don't kill me. But you know what I mean? Like, his whole aesthetic is definitely changed from, like, a couple years ago. So, I mean, I'm here for it.